Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Real, and I'm the health psychologist in the Division of Gastroenterology at the University of Michigan Health System. In behavioral health treatment, we teach patients effective skills to address physical and emotional stress. Treatment in this setting is designed for people who do not necessarily have a mental health problem, rather for people who want to better manage their physical condition. Having a chronic illness is stressful, and it's important for patients to know the consequences of not managing their stress effectively. For example, patients with a higher frequency of stressful life events require more potent medications. Also, psychological stress has been linked to increases in inflammation. Effective IBD self-management can empower patients to feel in control of their disease, even in the face of uncertainty. You may want to work with a health psychologist to develop skills that help you manage your disease the best you can. You may learn to develop strategies to strengthen your medical decision making, build better relationships with your doctors, learn to manage your medication effectively, and learn ways to prepare for the unexpected events or emergencies that may happen. When they arise, you do not feel overwhelmed or distressed. The consequences of unhealthy living are great for patients with chronic diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Stress management, sleep hygiene, smoking cessation, and medication adherence are just a few areas of potential focus in treatment. Adapting to these healthy behaviors can be more difficult for some, and by working with a health psychologist, you can learn behavioral modifications to make these healthy behaviors regular habits in your life. While stress is not the cause of your IBD, it certainly can contribute to the onset or maintenance of a disease flare. It is important to learn about ways your body is telling you it is stressed. These signs can serve as red flags that you need to become aware of and work to manage. A few signs of physical stress include body tension, headaches, fatigue, increased heart rate, and stomach aches. You may notice that some of these symptoms overlap with symptoms experienced while flaring. Equally important are emotional signs of stress. If you are feeling a great deal of worry, irritability, pessimism, poor concentration, or difficulty managing decisions, you are feeling the emotional effects of stress. What you may expect from your first appointment with a health psychologist. When a gastroenterologist makes a referral to a behavioral health team, they are providing you with a resource to learn strategies to manage stress, fatigue, and emotions that are related to having IBD. I have specific training in health psychology as well as in the treatment of gastrointestinal disorders. I understand the complexities of your GI symptoms and use the most up-to-date scientifically based treatments, including cognitive behavioral therapy, and gut-directed relaxation. In an initial consultation, I ask specific questions about your disease course, current symptoms, and what impact IBD is having on areas of your social, familial, and work or school life. Sometimes patients have specific concerns they would like to discuss in therapy, which may include worry about the uncertainty of having the disease, guilt associated with feeling as though they are a burden to their loved ones, how to address their illness with employers, how to navigate intimacy and dating, how to deal with shame related to GI symptoms, and current feelings of sadness related to the state of their health. Once some of these topics are talked about, I collaboratively work to create a treatment plan tailored to the unique needs of the patient. The patient has input into this treatment plan and will leave the initial consultation with an idea of how many treatment sessions they may benefit from. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is an evidence-based theory commonly used with patients in a medical setting. CBT is a structured, problem-focused treatment that aids patients in developing cognitive strategies to address unhelpful thinking patterns. CBT is also designed to be time-limited, with most people finding benefit after 5 to 10 sessions. Treatment may also incorporate stress management, coping skills training, and gut-directed relaxation. Given the chronic nature of IBD, your need for treatment and support may vary. It's common for patients to wrap up their treatment and then several weeks or months later return for a booster session to review skills, discuss a new treatment goal, or a health-related issue that's come up. 
you are already taking steps to better your health by coming to IBD school. The more you talk about your disease, learn about treatment, and take proactive steps to better your health, you are engaging in activities to lower your stress and empower yourself. Thank you. If you're interested in these services, contact your gastroenterologist for a referral to our behavioral health team.